Joining me on the line now, all the way from the West Coast, is the president of the Western Cape um, the Gymnastics Federation, Melvin Edwards. Um, Melvin, how are things going on your side? Hi, good day, JP, and to the viewers. Uh, everything is going well, um, as well as it can go under these circumstances. We are all indoors, and we're doing our best to flatten that curve, as the president has requested of us. Oh, folks out there, are you guys uh, reaching out to your um, your 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 members? I mean, I think you've got in excess of four thousand um, uh, registered members in the Western Cape. Well, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. That is correct, JP. We have just under four thousand. It's around about three thousand six hundred. But the newer members still have time or still are being registered during the ah. remainder of the year. Having said that, our ah. clubs have had various different challenges sent out to its members and we're trying our very best um, to keep our members active and to stay engaged with our members from as coaches and as club owners um, and so um, we have set out different challenges fitness challenges to our members but also to their to their family to try and participate in and, and we have, we're having lots of fun well, that's the thing about the gymnastics is, is, is even though we know that things like the Olympics has been postponed um, and international and national competitions has been postponed, um, the majority of your athletes that do gymnastics are actually all ages. Um, kids, moms, dads, it's not just all the high performance gymnastics. You've got all these gymnastic schools as well. Where, and you're, from what I understand, you're being active on Facebook. You're, you're doing little uh, um, home-based classes or your members are reaching out. That's correct. We, we're doing all sorts of different things on, on, on various platforms. I mean, from let's start at a national level. We have where the SAGF has launched um, various platforms where we can do anything from gymnastics courses to um, online, you know, mental fitness courses from a provincial side. We have engaged with our members and have asked them to, to um, set our challenges as, at the club level. Our clubs are doing various things. We're doing training videos online. We've sent our gymnasts, we've sent them um, their routines that they can practice at home. We have something called the alphabet challenge where the gymnast do, has to spell the name and that will be the fitness routine. Some clubs send their, their gymnast various uh, words for the day and they have to do that. But family is also getting involved. It's quite fun to see the pair. The, the, the alphabet challenge, when you say they have to spell their name, do you mean they have to spell their name in writing or do they do it like with the body? So what we do is you have each each letter of the alphabet has been allocated various activities from fitness activities to gymnastic skills. And so for arguments say um, Melvin will be uh, the M on the alphabet table will be 10 push ups and the E would be five sit ups and Not the L would stand for whatever. So so then that would be we started I started off in week one with their names and their surnames and then their pets names and their nicknames. And now in week two, they are every day we're sending them a word, and that word is their fitness program for the day. So, for example, we'll send them words like commitment, we'll send them words like um, safe, and all those things. Just to, and that word will then be uh, their fitness program for the day. That's fantastic, Melvin. Um, very creative. This is the kind of thing that we're we're reaching out for and trying to find out what our federations are doing. Um, is this also part of your contribution to make sure that folks stay isolated and comfortable um, during this difficult time? That is correct. We, we are trying to, and, uh, and we're focused on especially our gymnasts. Um, we have asked our gymnasts to remember and to, 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 to dig into the, the, the training of, of competition fitness where we have our gymnasts and all competitors will know this, where they have to focus on the task at hand when it comes to comp competing. And so we have just set the challenge out there to our gymnasts that the task at hand right now is that we need to focus on what is important and that is to stay at home so that we can flatten the curve and so that South Africa can turn, return to normality as we know it. Uh, Melvin, I see that you proudly got the district, uh, uh, West Coast district banner there behind you. Um, uh, just tell us a little bit about the uh, Western Cape Gymnastics, um, the number of districts where where you guys are active, and a little bit about the type of the club structures. Um, we know that you've got formal clubs, but you also have social clubs. Yeah, look for gymnastics. Is, we are currently in all the in all the districts um, at the various on as you said on the various different structures. 
We have schools in all our districts. We have various clubs in, 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 all, in most of our districts. Um, and so from, from a structure point of view, we have, let's start at, at with school level. We have school level gymnastics, where gymnastics is presented at school and as part of um, the, the, the SRSA a schools program. They also make use of SHF, obviously, um, routines and programs. And then we have what our community clubs. Our community clubs are those clubs in the community, uh, community centers, community halls, school buildings, church halls, where people go to do things like jump for all and rope skipping. And then we have formal clubs. And this is where the challenge is now, is in the formal clubs, because you must remember that uh, not, unlike all the other disciplines, gymnastics, our formal clubs is a form of um, income for, for most of our club owners and coaches. And yeah. so um, at, at that level, at that level is where the challenge is, where you have um, the lack of income, because remember, no classes is equal to no, no income. Um, what, are your, what are your words of encouragement for the members out there, the members of the public, um, as the president of Western Cape Gymnastics? Well, firstly, being on the 15th day of the first 21 days, um, I think everybody was excited and there was a hype around uh, it being halfway and almost there. And now you have to pick up those that energy levels again and, and, and just keep on pushing for another for another uh, 14 days. I think as, as sports people, it, is, it should be easy for us enough to know that um, we have to stick, we have to stay positive, we have to do our very best uh, um, to assist and help our country land on its feet again, as I said in my video. And in, in, in a video that I addressed my fraternity a, a few days ago, I say, asked them to make sure that as in gymnastics, we have to land on our feet and stick our landings to get a good score. It's important that we as gymnasts and a gymnastics fraternity, we stay positive. We do our best to stick to the basics um, and trust the process because that is one of the rules in gymnastics, I'm sure in other disciplines as well, but in our sport, we trust, we ask our gymnasts to trust the process because at the end of the day, it is the process that will get us um, to our, our final destination and to make sure that we bring home the cup and in this case, make sure that our country um, yeah, returns to yeah. its normal status as being a good country. Uh, Melvin, we're going to leave it at that. Um, thanks for joining us. Um, great to see that you've managed to figure out the technology on that side and just goes to show how easy it is for us <laughs> yeah. to, to reach out to you and stay in touch with you. And hopefully all of your members uh, will be watching tonight and, uh, and they will draw some some positive um, uh, feeling from from watching uh, their their leader um, on TV and giving those positive words of encouragement. Yeah, thanks uh, thanks to you also, JP. And um, as I said, um, technology um, is, is available. We can. We are. The world is a much smaller place. So we. I'm, I'm grateful that you have this platform where we can address our members and to everybody that will be watching the program tonight. Um, stay positive. Uh, just do your very best. Do as much as you can. Go outside. Not all of us have the, the facilities um, to, to go run around the house, but find creative ways to, do, to keep yourself busy. Um, and very soon, very soon, we will be back out there enjoying um, South Africa as a country. Stay safe and stay alive. Stay at home. Thanks, Melvin. Uh, Melvin Edwards, of course, the president of the uh, Western Cape um, Gymnastics Federation, um, uh, part, which is part of SAGF, South African Gymnastics Federation, um, are doing some incredible work there and reaching out to their members and staying active at home with all the different types of challenges. And it's great to see those kind of creative methods that, uh, that our federations are coming up with. And especially at a time like this where we are encouraging them to stay behind closed doors, to stay isolated, and uh, yeah, Melvin, thanks for joining us. And uh, um, we'll be catching up with Melvin and the, and the rest of his team, hopefully during the course of uh, this lockdown to make sure that you out there stay in touch and see what the other sport federations are busy doing. Folks, we're going to take a break. When we come back from the break, we'll catch up with Elton Davids. He is the chairperson of the Cape Town Sport Council, and we'll see how he's doing.